Hey guys and welcome back. It's Tiffany here. I'm working on my collaboration piece with Shanna Conroy. I will link the previous video right up top here. If you see the eye on a mobile device, you'll be able to click on it and go to our <clears throat> previous collaboration uh, backgrounds and our first um, this is actually the second time I started this background and then she added the fairy um, with the fairy wings and the tree and so forth. So I'll link those so you can go back and watch it. Um, today what I'm working with is actually peerless watercolors. As I talked about in one of my other videos in 2016, I'm going to work very hard to use the supplies that I already have. And so I have been, these are used peerless watercolors that I found in a group on Facebook. And so I've been a little anxious to use them, but yet a little nervous because I wasn't, uh, I've never, I don't really work with a lot of watercolor. So today, uh, that little bird is actually a punched piece that someone sent me in some happy mail. And I flipped it over so the orientation would have it go into the right, which is how I wanted it on the tree up there. So I just used it and actually did the peerless watercolors with it. Now, anytime in a video you see me sketching, doodling, uh, outlining stuff like I'm doing now, it's because I'm nervous to move on and I'm not really sure where I'm going. So, um... It's, for me, it's very important to keep going and moving forward uh, no matter what. So I always try to keep doodling. And here I'm going back with my beloved uh, hot pink ink um, to kind of tie in the pink from the fairy wings. Uh, those fairy wings were created out of the Happy Mail envelope that I sent her when I sent her the background piece. So she took those and recycled them and to the wings. So I felt like it needed a little more pink. And since I've never used the Peerless Watercolors, I'm trying to figure out what color I want uh, and just kind of, it would probably be very helpful if you created a... Uh, actual ledger or key to tell you what colors what but eh, you know me I like to wing it so that's what I'm doing here and then I'm going back with some pink to kind of tie the colors into it and I didn't want a solid color so I kind of made a variegated shade uh, with that and uh, I think it turned out nicely now that piece of wood veneer is actually a hottie swap uh, wood veneer word that someone sent me. Oh, I believe it was my secret Santa uh, off of Instagram. She sent me uh, a beautiful package and that came in it. So I'm just checking my time here and I'm freaking out because 15 minutes, let me tell you, flies by super fast. So here I feel like it needs a little more of the golden uh, yellow to kind of make it pop around this beautiful fairy. Probably the only time I actual face will be in my journal uh, so I wanted to make sure that I kind of brought it out as much as possible and here I'm still thinking about what do I want and drying that off uh, I'm trying to multitask here so drying with one hand and grabbing some stamps as I was thinking about this I grabbed um, that stamp that I've never used <laughs> And I couldn't find my acrylic block, so I just said, well, I'll just put it on the back of uh, the little stays on ink pad. And line it up the best of my ability and keep on trucking. So that's exactly what I did. And I think that actually gave it some, uh, they're kind of floating right now, but I think it comes together. And then the Distress ink, which re will reconstitute with water. So, I'm going to use the little grassy piece uh, with it. And then the black was in the stays on uh, ink. And so, I'm just trying to uh, add a little bit. Because when I looked at this beautiful page, I immediately thought of a fairy tale. So, realism is not really important. And here, I kind of went back with some reddish... Uh, brown here with the peerless watercolors. I think those are called cattails and kind of uh, brought those out a bit. 
But yeah, realism is definitely, and I'm still freaking out about the time because now I'm down to five minutes and I feel like I just got started. But uh, realism is not really at the forefront of my thoughts whenever I do a journal page. So, And then the bird, um, I just wanted to outline that to kind of get it to pop and go back with a little pencil and kind of bring out the wing a little bit. And so I'm going to adhere that down with the glue stick. You hook glue stick. And I'm still thinking the whole time as to what I'm going to do because being under the timer, whew, it's really been a challenge for me. So now I'm going to go in with um, the ink pad and try to just take a little bit of that a dark edge so it'll pop off the page you have to be careful when you're working with a lot of the same color so the pinks and the purples and the uh, blues here to make sure that uh, you can still have dimension in your piece so I'm gonna go back with the gel medium the heavy gel medium and uh, because it will dry clear so if any smooshes out that's a technical term smushes out on the edge then I would be able to uh, it would be clear so um I think I checked the timer here in just a second maybe and so I'm gonna go back with my beloved Stabilo all pencil so I can add just a little more depth uh, to the words and make them pop off the page just a little bit more I'm freaking out. I only have one minute. And so remember, uh, Stabilo all activates with uh, water. So, and I'm just going to go back with a few sketch marks, kind of ground those uh, greenery pieces, go around the wings a little bit, as well as my little birdie. And so the next stop it'll make is it will go back to Shanna. And then Shanna will uh, send it back to me and that will be its final home. So um, I'm going to link her video. We'll both go live at the same time today. So if you would, please make sure you check out her video. And uh, make sure that you subscribe as well as like this video. Uh, and tell me what you uh, think about it. Thank you so much guys for stopping in. I appreciate all the love and support that you give me with your comments and your subscriptions. Thank you so much and have an amazing day.